and his story is that dad left for milk, mom died, became uh, the boy who cries wolf. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Fancy Hero and today we'll be ranking Straw Hat Pirates backstory from the most sad to the least sad or most tragic, least tragic and um i don't know if i should wear this it's really hot outside just wanted to change the scene right the background so i'm sitting outside it's like 95 degrees and i'm kind of dying but we're gonna try to film this pretty quick i'll try to keep it under 15 minutes but i don't think i'm gonna wear this it's way too hot but all right so let's start these are the elements that i'll use to judge how long they were when they faced their traumatic events, how long they have suffered, and how strong they are for being themselves and also being able to get through those events. So we're gonna start from the least sad to the most sad. The least sad backstory starting at number 10, I said Zoro. His backstory- oh, spoilers for Sanji's backstory, like complete backstory, which will be from the whole cake arc. I'm not sure what episode or chapter it starts, I'll put it up here. But there will be spoilers on Sanji's complete backstory and Jinbei if you haven't gotten there yet. But alright, number 10, we got Zoro. His backstory is that his best friend died by falling down a freaking stairs. Stairs! Like, it's just... I, I mean, I know they're kids, so you know, they were like, what? Zoro was 8 and Kuina was 3 years older, so Kuina is 11. So I guess kids can die really easily back then. But like, you know, he's his best friend, his rival, the strongest person that he fought with. And they just made a promise like, either you or me, one of us will be the greatest swordsman in the world. And then the next day she just... Eh, it's almost comical, but it's it's sad. But you know Zoro is a really strong character. So I will say that his backstory is the least sad, according to me. And number nine, we got Luffy. Because he's always a cheerful kid, you know, we saw his backstory. He lives with Dandan Dan and the uh, mountain pirate, no, mountain bandits. And also with Ace, Sabo, and Sabo died, but nothing. Other than that, there's no traumatic event. I mean, we can consider the backstory we've seen in the One Piece film Red, but it's not canon. So I'll say, yeah, just Sabu died. He's always a cheerful kid. I'm not sure if he... It registers, yes. He did cry a lot, but I don't think it really affect him that much. Because I'm not going to say what happened in case some of you don't know like what happened in Dressrosa but then number eight we got it is so hot I am dying number eight we got Jinbei uh, his story yes like I said spoilers but he has to overcome his hatred for humans there's his captain Fisher Tiger's death and the division of the Sun Pirates so it's like we don't know Jinbei's backstory when he's younger like as a kid so we only know it after he became the captain at the Ryugyu pa uh, Palace. He was, wasn't he the captain? Like he was a leader of the soldier for the Fishman Kingdom. So he's already really strong character back then, right? And he's also already a full-blown adult. I know that, I'm not sure if he actually hates human. Like before Orihime, what is it? Sorry to try to change her people's minds about sh uh, humans. I think he's just like indifferent, but he hates them and he doesn't show that he hates them, you know? But then after Fisher Tiger's death, mm, yeah, I think he kind of hates human a bit more. And then the Division of Sun Pirates, he blamed himself for sending Arlong to Nami's island and all that stuff. But he's also extremely strong. I just think his, it's more his backstory is sadder than Luffy's and Zoro because yeah, the hater for like a whole human race and he overcame that, he's friends with them now. I think that's like a really big thing so I put him higher than those two. Number seven, we got Uso. 
and his story is that dad left for milk, mom died, became uh, the boy who cries wolf. I don't know. He's also like Luffy. I don't think he cares that much. They were kids, you know? I don't know how kids feel when their parents died. It's like they were too young to actually register those emotions. But also, I, I really don't know how kids are feeling when their parents died. I just think that's a bit more sad because, you know, he don't have anyone to take care of him at all. I don't think so, right? He just take care of himself in the Sarah village, right? Who will actually take care of him? Like, at least Luffy, he got a Dandan, and then Zoro got his sensei, master. Yeah, so I think Usopp just grew up by himself. That's quite sad. Number six, we got Frankie because his mentor slash father figure died by the world government. His weapon got used to frame his mentor. So I actually don't remember much. I do remember that much though because my summary of his backstory is quite brief. I just said his weapon got used to frame his mentor. Then he failed to save him and got hurt really, really badly. So yeah, the C train, he got hit by the C train, right? And then he got to, he had to modify his body so that he lived. That's, oh, that's like a different kind of trauma. You also got hurt really bad. Imagine that would be really painful. Yeah, and just like just imagine all these items that you made for fun because you like to build stuff and happen to be weapons and then it just got used to not only destroy his island but also frame his mentor who take care of you all of those years oh yeah he got um, abandoned by his pi parents pirates they are pirates so frankie's parents are pirates we don't know them we know that he got abandoned what shitty parents. That's probably the next video. Like, which One Piece characters got the best parents? Uh -huh. Spoilers, not many of them. <laughs> but yeah, I put him at number six. Number five is Brook. Okay, I, sorry. I know he should be higher because being alone for 50 years is quite what is it? Isolating? <laughs> yeah, just alone. You know, being alone for a whole fifty years, and he watched his crew die. Yeah, that is really sad. But he is also how old was he? Thirty-eight when all this happened. So he's a really grown adult, I think. It's still really sad, but in my opinion, the rest of the Straw Hats, I just feel like it's worse. So yeah, I put Brooke right at five kind of in the middle but I know it's really sad he was alone for 50 years I would go crazy if I'm if I'm alone without talking to anyone for literally just three days I will already go crazy by then 50 years yeah I know a lot of people want me to put him higher because I asked my followers when I was writing a script for this but yeah I I'm sorry we'll, we'll get through the higher in the rankings but Brooke is at five in my opinion Number four, we got Chopper. He got banished by his heart, seen as a monster, and accidentally killed his own adopted father. And all of these happen when he's... How old is Chopper? Chopper is 17 now, so two years ago, he's like 15. All this happened when he's around 10. Or younger, probably about 8 to 10. He's a baby when all of this happened. Just imagine being shunned by your own family, your own herd. And then you try to, uh, what is it, assimilate into the human community because, you know, if your own reindeer's herd doesn't like you, then maybe I'll try to become human. They didn't like him either, so yeah, everyone kind of seen him as a monster because they just don't understand him. Then he got adopted by uh, Dr. Helik, right? Helik? I don't know if I said that right. But after that, he's dying and he's reading the book and he saw the uh, Joey Rogers logo and he was like, the, oh, is this Helix's fault? Cause he's like, you know, it's like the symbol that like you can, what did he say? He said something about 
you can do anything with this, with this uh, Joy Roger symbol, right? The skull and the cross. Like living? I don't know. Mm, don't quote me. I'll, I'll put uh, what he said. But yeah, in a way, it is kind of his fault because he taught Chopper that. So now Chopper is like, oh, it must be a cure for everything. And he go find that poisonous mushroom and then gave it to him and then he died. Very dramatic for a nine, a ten years old kid. So I put him that high. He's a baby, okay? He's a baby. All right, number three, we got Sanji. <laughs> what a funny coincidence, because it's San means three. But yeah, Sanji, he got experimented on, seen as a failure, almost starved to death. That should be enough. But the experiment on and being tortured, bullied by his own siblings, except for Reiju, best sister, I love her. Yeah, that is... Oh, poor boy. He's such a kind, kind person. Honestly, Sanji, Sanji's... Sorry, well, we'll talk about that later. I was just thinking about how Sanji would make such a best boyfriend, you know? Because all of the Straw Hats men, he's the only person who showers every day. But that's just besides the point. <laughs> um, yeah, so really sad that he got bullied by his siblings and then his mom died and then oh god just excuse me i'm trying to film what what even is that insect noise but yeah okay that happened uh what else uh being seen as a failure like unwanted by his family okay the bugs show out please show out okay uh, second place, Nami, she had to work for the person who killed her mom while being hated by her own village for all those years that she had to work to... What is it? Buy back the village from Arlong? So I think that is... That... What is it? Be, imagine just being a slave to the person who killed your mom. Yeah, that's just... I don't know. I, I feel like that is really hard. Especially she was eight. Most of the Straw Hats were 8 in their backstory. Maybe younger for Luffy. Yeah, Luffy was 7 because Ace was 9, right? Or, I don't know. I don't remember the exact age, but really young. Below 12. They were just kids, you know? And I think Nami's really sad because she's trying to carry all these burdens by herself. She's not even telling the villagers that she's trying to help them. And I know that the villagers know, but they're faking that they hate her just so she has like whenever she get tired and she don't want to do this anymore they just want her to leave but i i don't know i just think that is really sad this is like that person killed your mom and then you have to work under them literally become their slave oh and when when she stopped her tattoo their arlong tattoo god she wanted to do that to arlong but she can't you know it's just i don't know it, I feel like that is really sad. Someone might put Sanji higher than Nami or Brooke higher than her. But is this the, the part where she had to steal all these treasures to buy back her village? That's like working for Arlong, one, that's like really bad. And then going to steal from pirates, that's also really bad. Like she put herself in so much danger stealing from pirates. I don't know. It's and Arlong, they're fishmen. They're like 10 times stronger than regular humans. She's just a little girl. She was eight. It's, oh, I don't know. I, I really think her backstory is really sad. Um, then we got number one, Robin. I feel like everyone can agree on this. Robin got the saddest backstory. Her island got annihilated and she was chased by the war government for 20 years. 20 years. A lot less than Brew being alone for 50 years, but again, being a little girl, need to fend for herself, doing everything to survive. And the whole world, it's not just the world government, not just the marine. It's like when she got uh, into a house of a family, you know, she's like, I can do anything. I can clean, I can, I don't know, take care of your babies and all that stuff. And they just took her in just because they want her bounty. It's like humans. 
humans are just trash, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how I got there. But yeah, that is just really sad. I think I sped run through that. I really wanted to finish this video. That, but that was my ranking. 10, we got Luffy, 9, Zoro, 8, Junbei, 7, Usopp, 6, Frankie, 5, Brooke, 4, Shopper, 3rd, 3rd, yeah, Sanji, 2nd, Nami, and the 1st place for the Straw Hat member with the saddest, our most tragic backstory is Robin. So those are my opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. I am literally about to melt because it is really hot outside. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more One Piece or movie slash show slash anime review. I post that randomly. So yeah, may maybe you hit the bell if you want to know when I post. But yeah, it's been Pansakura. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!